Hi, folks. My name is Bob Jakes. I am the publisher of Yes Reports. And we are doing a series of pay it forward. We're in search of good organizations that are coming through this COVID-19 situation and stepping up to the plate and helping out their local communities. I happen to be a member of the Bristol chapter of Unico. Even though my last name is Jakes and I'm French, I'm going to come back to that shortly. I am proud to be a member of the Bristol, Connecticut chapter of Unico, and I'm proud to have Mario Giovannucci and Bob Deluzio with me today. And they're going to tell us what Unico is all about, and they're going to tell us what Unico has done to step up to the plate to help out with this COVID-19 situation. Mario, why don't you start off today? Good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hey, uh, uh, Unico is the largest Italian-American civic club in the country. We do a lot of good things. We also have a national foundation, which I am a, a, a trustee, one of 15, and also the treasurer. We do a lot with the food banks, and I know Bob does a lot with the, uh, the food bank here in town, taking care of them. There are so many people that are in need. One of the, uh, the most recent events that the Connecticut uh, Unico chapters are doing is you're dealing in giving donations to food share during this time of need with the COVID-19 situation, what's going on with that. The reason why I got involved with Unico back in 1989 is because I wanted, when I saw the motto, you know, service above self, which is also those you, that you know, Rotary, they use the same tagline, is really what this is all about. And to me, that's what being a member of a civic club is, to give back to the community, number one. Number two is the a lot of the friendships that we get among ourselves. And then the third thing is if we develop business relationships, that's awesome. So that's a little bit of a background uh, with Unico and National. So Bob, what's going on at, at the, uh, when you're going to your, uh, doing your fundraiser there and you're doing all your pasta dinners, how does that work out and how's Unico getting involved? As you said, um, you know, we are trying to do our part in helping uh, the, the people in need in the Bristol area during this uh, pandemic. Uh, one of the things that we do every year, is one of our biggest fundraisers is our pasta dinner. We have uh, um, pasta and meatballs and salad, and it's a really good uh, event that we do every year. Um, due to the social distancing and the other issues that, are, that we're dealing with during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we, uh, we had to cancel that dinner this year. However, I had all the pasta here in my dining room. So instead of holding it on, and I brought it up to, we donated it to our local food pantry, which is the Meals for Neighbors uh, food pantry here in Bristol that services many of the needy and homeless people in the, uh, in the town of Bristol. Another thing we'll be doing, uh, some members of our chapter will be partnering with the uh, Knights Columbus uh, shortly to uh, provide a, uh, a pasta dinner, pasta meatballs and, and the fixings for another shelter in Bristol. This is a, a warming center in Bristol called Brian's Angels uh, that we will pro be providing uh, some dinners for them and also for the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Um, I don't wanna sound like Unico is all about food, although food is uh, very prevalent in the Italian culture. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's very important to us. The, um, the partnering with the, uh, the Knights is, is important because they, you know, like Unico, our civic organization, and uh, they try to, uh, you know, service. They have a similar beliefs that we do, service above self. The next thing that's going to happen this year, and you know, although the schools are closed, uh, we will still be providing uh, scholarships to three very deserving students. We have three high schools in Bristol, and every year we choose a very deserving student um, out of each one of those high schools and provide them a scholarship for uh, their upcoming college year. This is very important. We've been doing this for many years, and it's something that we have to continue to do. The students uh, find this very helpful in, in helping to, um, to finance their, uh, their further education. Yeah, even on the national level, every year we give uh, approximately $65,000 in scholarships for undergraduate and graduate situations. There's a lot of good uh, things. If anybody out there 
is interested on the national level, just go to uniconational.org and that's where all the applications are. Unfortunately, it's too late for this year, but they're constantly doing that. And then also too, in the national level, uh, we have a program for the food pantries and that could be anywhere in the country. You just have to go on to uniconational.org again and then go under the scholar, or go under uh, the, the request and they usually are able to give out 500 to $1,000 and you can do that twice a year. So that's a great thing. I know in Bristol, I, I uh, forwarded that information and they, they received $1,000 at one point. So you can do that. And it's always a great thing in this time because there's so many people, unfortunately, that you know take, we take it for granted. We just have a you know, place to sleep and warm food in the table and they don't have it. I want to give out a testimonial. As a father of uh, three kids, two of my children received scholarships from Unico. Thank you very much, guys. I truly appreciate it. It made a big difference in their college education. Awesome. So, Bob, why don't you tell everybody when you know once we get over this pandemic, uh, where we meet, how you know what's involved, and I think it'd be great. It's great if some people want to just get involved and meet some really good people and rediscover your Italian heritage a little bit more. Right. Um, at this time, you know, we are always looking for um, new new members to join our, our Bristol chapter. Uh, many of the members that we've had are, are um, you know, they're getting on in years, and but they're still active. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to um, um, entice new members to come and encourage, uh, especially members of, you know, Italian heritage uh, to come and join our chapter. Uh, to do some of the good things that we do. Um, you know, the only thing that, you know, we don't only do pasta dinners or fundraisers like that. We do also provide um, funding for other organizations within the city. For instance, the, the Bristol Boys Club, the Bristol Boys and Girls Club, the uh, Sherwood um, um, Stables, the uh, horse. Uh, for the horses. Uh, Just saying, if anybody is, is interested in learning more again about what Bristol Unico and Unico in general is all about. We always are accepting applications. You can live in Bristol or the greater Bristol surrounding areas. And as long as you're Italian or your spouse is Italian or you have Italian descent, we'll be more than happy to uh, help you out. And then if you want, we can, uh, Bob, if you can give them a, uh, an email to reach out to you at afterwards if needed, that would be awesome. That's how I got in. Um, my, my wife happens to be Italian, and when I was told that because my wife is Italian, I can join, I was really happy to join. And we were happy to have you. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, so if you're interested in joining Unico or, uh, or anybody in the United States, if you're doing something good and you want Yes Reports to to feature you in one of our videos. Uh, below this video, there'll be a link to us. You can reach me at info at yesreports.com. My email for Yes Reports is info at yesreports.com. If you're doing something good and you're helping out your local community and you would like to be featured in our uh, broadcast, please reach out to me. Bob Deluzio, how do they reach out to you if they if they want to get more information or if they want to join Unico? The best way to get information about Unico is to go to the Unico website. That's unico.org. That's U-N-I-C-O dot O-R-G. Great. Well, folks, it was a pleasure to have you here with us today. And Bob Deluzio and Mario, we thank you very much. You guys are doing great work supporting your community. Thank you for being out there for all of us. Our pleasure. You have a great day, guys. Be, be safe. Thank you for doing this, Bob. You're welcome. Non più dry, far amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano. Then the bell it turned to a riposo, but she said to a tuchino de mor. Then the bell it turned to a riposo, but she said to a tuchino de mor. Non più 
avrai questi bei panachini Quel cappello leggero galante